Hi everyone, my name is Elise Halls, and welcome to the By Night Studios Werewolf of the Apocalypse Heart of the Forest game review. I've just completed playing the entire game, top to bottom, start to finish, and my first thoughts right out of the gate is, what a ride, and I want more. I played the whole game uh, in a span of, I would say, five hours, something around that nature, um, and... It was so incredible. I there were there was spiritual moments at which I felt so at peace. There was moments in which my heart was pounding out of my chest, and the ending I got was fantastic. I will try not to spoil the game in this review, but it was so breathtaking. The art was unhinged and phenomenal. It was terrifying and wondrous. And when I talked with um, Peter from Walkabout Games, he told me that it was to help inspire your visual mind, but not to directly inform you of what was, what it was you were seeing, and that was so helpful. And the sound design. I was in forest, I was in towns, I heard children, I heard small bugs, I, saw, I heard animals, and it managed to make the sound of chainsaws and machinery grating and horrifying. But I, it still sounded just like a chainsaw, but for the context of the game, you were horrified by these things. And it had some great foreshadowing that had a great payoff in the middle section. There was one part, I won't spoil it, but there was one part in the middle of the game in which I, I felt tears welling to my eyes. And I thought, oh god, am I, am I going to get my character killed? Oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And so much happened and I was overwhelmed and it was so incredible I almost had to take a break it was so crazy but in the end everything flowed so naturally there was ups and downs in this game twists and turns there was so many wonderful characters that I have to play again I want to get to know all of them so so much better and honestly the only thing that I could think about as, as soon as I finished the game was what an incredible journey and ride it was. And God, I wish there was more. I want so much more of these characters and so much more of this game. And I really hope they make a sequel. That would be incredible. And another thing I found absolutely incredible about this game was as an American, I don't know much about foreign affairs, um, mostly because I'm uh, just coming now into my true adult years. I'm 21 now. And I was really starting to pay attention to the news and read about other worlds and issues. And I had no idea that in 2016, this logging issue was happening. Um, I'm going to botch the name of the forest, I apologize. But Bulvasia? Bul Bulvasia? I apologize. Um, the forest and the Puczcia forest um, in Poland, there was a very large logging issue. It was in 2016. I was only 17 at the time, and I was living in Texas and just going to high school really absorbed my own world and to hear about it now and reflect on this and be told this incredible story through this fictional lens not only gave me an appreciation for things outside of my own worldview but also an appreciation for werewolf itself for the game Werewolf of the apocalypse where I had never I had never been one to really look at werewolf, it was never my aesthetic, and now I found myself at the end of the game going, I want to make a werewolf character, I want to, I, I need to play this game, both in tabletop and in video gaming. It was so incredible, I had such a great time, and I got to learn about Poland and Polish funerals, I didn't know that you tossed dust on graves, I don't, I wasn't sure what that was about, so I was like, oh, I guess I guess this is a cultural thing. I, I didn't know. Um, there was points in which I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool. I'm learning all about this stuff, and I'm also learning about werewolf. And it did such a good job of explaining werewolf terminologies to me, because I knew, you know, mostly about werewolf. I knew that there was the guru and Gaia and the worm and the weaver. Uh, my knowledge on the tribes was a little iffy, but I had no idea that there was other things, like the philodox, I believe, and all these other, I think they're like, how you're born, the type of person you are, like personality types, I'm not sure what their official title is called, but I learned about those, and I was like, oh, I, I want to know what other kinds I can get, I have to play this game again, 
So I'll, I'll get a chance to replay it, of course, and I can do nothing but encourage other people to go out and try this for yourself. It, it's not a very long game, you don't need a ton of time to sit down and play it, but in the time that it does take, it has perfect flow, it goes from one event to the next seamlessly, and it has such great replay value. There's different middles, there's different endings, and I'm sure you could get, I mean, several pl playthroughs of this game while still experiencing new content. There were so many choices. Onto the things I wish I could have more of. Um, I wish I could have chosen, despite it being like a very obvious horrible option, I wish I could have chosen the tribe in which my family's legacy was. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I wish I could have chosen that. I also wish there was more of the game. I feel like it was short, but also short and sweet. I hope that they make a second one so I can get more of these characters and this content and more of Polish culture. And I wish, I wish we got to spend more time with the characters, but I feel like I'll just have to replay the game to get more, to get more out of this and more of this. Um, as well as the story, you had an incredible story that was easily accessible, especially for someone like me who hasn't touched Werewolf before. Um, you had sound design that was so immersive. I was wearing headphones the entire time, which I 100% recommend you do. And there was one sound effect that I won't spoil, but it was around in the middle, uh, I believe chapter 3, where there was this one sound effect that made me jump in my chair. It wasn't a jump scare, but I I jumped up and gasped audibly, and I, I was surprised at myself for even doing that. And it was just the little things like that that really made this game just such an incredible experience, and I highly recommend it to anybody who will give it a look. Um, the Walkabout people and Different Tales, you guys are great. You made such an incredible game. You should be proud of yourselves. Really give yourselves a round of applause. I can't wait for everyone to add this to their shelf of, you know, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and Bloodlines 2 and Redemption. This goes right up there with um, the Coteries of New York. I mean, it's it's just another great addition. It's just another great addition to this collection that we were amassing of wonderful World of Darkness content. So if you haven't already, please uh, go check out the Werewolf Heart of the Forest game on Steam. It is releasing today as I publish this video on October 13th. Um, I highly recommend it, so if you are wondering, if you want to get your hands on more World of Darkness content, some Werewolf content, or even try something new from the World of Darkness, I highly recommend Werewolf Heart of the Forest. Thank you for joining me. My name is Elise Hawes. You can find the links to all of these things. The game will be on Steam. The link will be in the description, as well as the different tales. Werewolf Heart of the Forest link will be in the description as well. And please, please check it out. It was such a great game. I cannot recommend it any more than I already have. Thank you so much.